If you want to get relief from interstitial cystitis, you need to stop covering up your symptoms with Band-Aid solutions and start investigating your root cause. Listen, I'm not here to judge anybody for any decisions they make about their body on their IC journey. And trust me, I have made a lot of decisions. Some I'm proud of, some I regret. And I live with that. But I guess my point in making this video is to help you guys learn from my mistakes and save you a whole lot of time. Years ago when my symptoms were super bad, I was chasing this like magic cure or quick fix for my symptoms. I would try literally every treatment that was offered to me. Medications, installations, hydro distension, Botox, you name it, I tried it and it did not help me. Lots of these things even made me worse. It wasn't until I hit rock bottom and realized I needed to do something about my IC or else my life would never change and get better and I'd be able to do the things that I wanted to do. And so I decided, okay, I need to do an elimination diet to identify if I am diet sensitive. I need to start addressing my stress. I was in college, I was really stressed. I was a varsity volleyball player. Let's just say there was a lot of stress. And so I needed to address my nervous system and I, I just needed to start that investigative process and stop doing these Band-Aid things like using pre-leaf and taking all of these supplements and just not doing things that were giving me long lasting relief and really getting to the root of the problem. I see so many people doing this. You know, my clients who come to me in road to remission, they're all thinking that, okay, Diet is the enemy. You know, all these foods off the IC diet list, they are the enemy. I need to stay away from them. I would say nine times out of 10, these people are either not diet sensitive or they're only sensitive to two, three, or four things on the IC diet list. And it's usually another trigger or root cause, such as stress, hormones, allergies, an overlapping condition like pelvic floor dysfunction, endometriosis irritable bowel syndrome, et cetera. So this investigative process is essentially what I help my clients with inside of Road to Remission. And in order to get that long lasting relief that you want, you need to get to that root of that problem and investigate what, what is at the core of your symptoms. And this is gonna be very different for everyone. If you're looking for guidance in this process, Head to my profile, watch the Road to Remission highlight, and if you're interested in applying, DM me the word remission. This program has helped 60% of my clients either reach remission or get very close to remission in just three months.